you had 75 minutes to cook a beautiful dish out of a mystery box that you chose from one of us. Now you look a little nervous. I wonder why. <laughs> the first tasting in the MasterChef kitchen. First one up, Jessica. My biggest concern today is that all these flavours are going to meld together. There's some pretty intense flavours on that plate, so I hope it's not all too much. Jessica, tell us what the dish is. So I have a miso maple glazed chicken roll, some corn puree underneath, a little celery salad, and a pepita and bacon crumb. Can you just say the glaze again and just watch Brett sneeze, because I reckon, they, <laughs> I reckon they, they go a bit weak when you mention that. It'd be a uh, miso and maple glaze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. I know, you, you have to taste it. As soon as you said miso and maple, I'm sold, so. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is where the weight problem begins. <laughs> <laughs> Working for the top three dishes today, um, the advantage you get tomorrow is immense. And what you've done with this dish is you have thrown down the biggest gauntlet that we have seen in the Master of Kitchen. <laughs> that is just absolutely smashing. It's not just smashing because we love corn and butter and chicken and bacon and maple syrup, and you know, of course they're gonna go together. But it's because you've smashed some acidity into that salad, and that relieves some of the richness because you've, the glaze is still sticky. I mean, you'd be having ever cooked it. That's a really just big smile on our faces. Happy judges. Well done. Thank you. They're happy that I balance those flavours. They love the presentation. It's all gone. <laughs> I really want to get into this top three. Next up, Carl. Welcome to the judges. I'm really nervous. <laughs> kind of we'll go up on this one and have a look, don't you? Hoping that it all balances well. Take your well, time. Take your time. Yeah, this could be the make or break this bit. Yeah. Looks nice. It's got nice colours. Oh, look at that. But in the back of my mind, I'm scared that the judges might think it's too simple and that I haven't done enough. All right, Carl, what did you cook? Um, cucumber granita with a ouzo cream, crumbly biscuit, meringue shards and a pickled cucumber. Nice. So dessert, yeah? Yes, it is. <laughs> From my box? Yes, it is. There you go. Sounds amazing. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. Smells amazing. <laughs> but does it taste amazing? Enough of the talk. Let's find out. Oh. Right, so at the beginning, we had looks amazing, smells amazing, sounds amazing. Yeah. Mm. But does it taste amazing? It tastes amazing. <laughs> the best moment is when the ice is melting and there's a, that lovely kind of warmth of the, the biscuit and the cream is kind of, you know, just beautifully smooth and you get this sudden pop of crunchy pickled cucumber. And that's smart thinking. Jeez, that's a... That's a great dessert for your first cook in the MasterChef kitchen. Thank you. Well done, Carl. Well done, Carl. I was speechless. I, really, I was just smiling. I was like, it was a big, such a big surprise for them to say it was an amazing dish. I was over the moon. Next one up, Matthew. Duck roast with cauliflower puree and rhubarb reduction. You've cooked it beautifully. The cauliflower puree is absolutely wonderful. It's smooth, it's delicious. Marcus. Miso marinated charred chicken thigh, pressure infused celery pickle, finished with hickory smoke. You've done lots of 
great thinking, great application of flavour, but gee, it's crying out for some freshness as well. Melita. Hazelnut parfait with rhubarb sauce. Mm. I think the parfait is fantastic. And then when you get a little bit of that nettle fritter, you go, ooh, now there's something to write home about. They're unusual and interesting, and I like them. Thank you. Jessie. Chicken and egg ravioli with a miso broth. This one is almost dishes. You know, it's almost great. But is this a dish that allows you to take some confidence? Is it a dish that allows you to think you have a place here? Is this a dish that maybe buries some of those fears and banishes some of those doubts? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Jared, your turn. I'm having the judges look at my dish and see that I've used the mastic and I've used the abalone. It's something that I've never used before. And they think, well, at least he's had a go. What's your dish, Jared? It's pan fried abalone and cable leaves with pickled cucumber and an attempted orange and ouzo jelly. <laughs> OK. You pleased? Ah, uh, no. No, I'm not. I tried to do something a bit different with the mastic and it didn't really work. Yeah. But have you learnt something from it? Yeah, don't use mastic. <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to do something a bit too out there early in the competition and yeah, it yeah. didn't come off. Mystery box is about, you know, getting up there, giving it a go. Yep. In saying that, we're looking for the top three in this mystery box. Looking at the plate, I can see that that orange mastic, it just looks ridiculous. It's my first cook in the MasterChef kitchen. It's really embarrassing. How much mastic did you use for that? Way too much. No, how many beads? Yeah, like five. Five beads? Yeah. One bead of mastic, you can dilute into about a, a litre worth of mix. Right, OK. <laughs> That's how potent the flavour is. Yep. Abalone, a bit thick, a bit rubbery. Obviously, this mastic orange thing, it's got a good idea, because orange and mastic go really well together, but loosen it up. Yep. Well done for trying. I really have to step on my game. From here on in, I really have to bring up some delicious dishes. Well, you probably realise well and truly now that there is nowhere to hide in the MasterChef kitchen. The challenge today was to cook with ingredients in one of our mystery boxes. And for some of you, you hit the ground running. Put up some great dishes, some surprising dishes in the first day in the MasterChef kitchen. You really went for it, challenged yourself, thought about food differently, and that's what we're after. Sarah, that duck was beautifully presented. And you know what we loved was that little crumble of duck skin and hazelnut, absolutely spot on. Melita, well, that parfait surprised us. One of the best that we've seen in the MasterChef kitchen. Even though there was only one little nettle fritter, that was wonderful. MasterChef is all about redemption, and John, you redeemed yourself. That ice cream was spot on. The beautiful flavour of olive oil, and just enough feta to give it a little bit of salt. A fantastic dish. Ka, wow, who would have thought a dish of cucumbers? That was fantastic, it was restrained, it wasn't too sweet. Good balance of flavour, creative, right on day one. Thank you. The final person to make a great first impression was a dish straight from Planet Flavour. Jessica, we loved every single mouthful. Well done. <laughs> well, there was five of you that blew our socks off, but we're only looking for the top three today. If I call your name, please step forward. Jessica. First cook in this whole competition and I've had my name called first. This is incredible. John. <laughs> and the final person in today's top three is... Sarah.
Well, you three have put your head above the pack and you'll find out what being in the top three is all about tomorrow. And can I tell you, <laughs> it is an absolute ripper. Brent, any final words? Congratulations on today. I was honestly impressed. I didn't think that it would replicate the level of last year and I think you've exceeded those expectations by a country mile, so well done. To those that didn't do so well, don't be too hard on yourself. Learn from your mistakes and keep going forward. Good luck to all of you. Thank you.